Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Henderson. And today guys, I am bringing you some extremely exciting news regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now some of you guys may already be familiar with this news. Some other bigger YouTubers have already covered it who have actually been involved with this. But just in case some of my subscribers haven't actually been filled in, I'm going to give you guys the full list of everything that's actually gone down over the last couple days in regards to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now some of you guys may know that there were some big YouTubers and also some media outlets that were sent a mysterious black envelope yesterday from Activision and they were actually instructed to not open the envelope until June 8th, 2016. So for a while we weren't really sure exactly what was in the envelope. A lot of the rumors about what was inside the black envelope related to the 10th specialist for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which is rumored to be called Blackjack which we haven't had a lot of information on over the last couple weeks and over the last couple of months. So that's what a lot of people were really thinking about but it actually ended up not being anything like that at all. But some YouTubers and some media outlets actually opened it up a little bit earlier, Charlie Intel being one of them, they actually tweeted out and said, okay, we broke the rules and opened it. Oh my God, prepare to be hyped tomorrow with a picture of the black envelope. So this is really exciting, guys. They actually knew what was in the envelope a whole day before everyone else did. I believe Nate Shot was also another person that actually opened it up a day early, but I believe you other YouTubers like Chaos like Silencer actually did wait till the day that they were actually instructed to open it. But essentially, guys, what's inside is actually an invitation to Call of Duty XP 2016. Now, if you guys haven't been around for very long, like me, I actually was just coming onto the Call of Duty scene when Call of Duty XP came around in 2011. But essentially what it is, is it's supposed to be the ultimate Call of Duty experience for the true diehard fans. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of actually what's going to be going down at Call of Duty XP 2016. We're going to have the World League Championship. We're going to experience the culmination of the first season with the Call of Duty World League Championship with the biggest payout in Call of Duty history. I believe there is actually going to be $2 million in prizes awarded to players and teams at this World League Championship, which is going to be absolutely insane. You're also going to be able to get a hands-on experience and be able to play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Multiplayer, Infinite Warfare Zombies, Modern Warfare Remastered Multiplayer, and Call of Duty 4 Black Ops 3 DLC 4, all before they're actually released to the public. Now, of course, being the ultimate Call of Duty fan experience, they're not just going to have stuff related to the game on a screen. They're actually going to have some in real life stuff that players and fans will actually be able to interact with as well. People will actually be able to go into a real life paintball arena that's been replicated to be exactly like Nuketown and play paintball, which is going to be absolutely insane. They're also going to have a PlayStation virtual reality experience and much more. So the PlayStation virtual reality experience, as far as that goes, I'm not sure if that's going to be something that's going to be exclusive to only the people who attend Call of Duty XP 2016, or if maybe that's going to be something that they're going to release later, maybe when Black Ops 3 DLC 4 comes out, or maybe they're going to wait until Infinite Warfare comes out and sort of release that as all one big package when that finally does drop in early November. There's also going to be special musical performances. There's going to be some special announcements, some panels, and much more. So the panels, I'm actually going to be really excited about because they're actually going to have a chance to talk to all of the three major developers, which include Sledgehammer Games, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward, where they're going to talk about the makings of Call of Duty, sort of some design issues that they ran into, and sort of the progress that they're making in terms of the games that they're actually working on. Now, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get names of the Call of Duties that Treyarch and Sledgehammer are actually working working on for the next couple years, but obviously we do know that Infinity Ward is working on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which will be released in early November. So all in all, guys, Call of Duty XP is a really, really exciting event, especially for the diehard Call of Duty fans like me who love to stay up to date on all this stuff. This is going to be a huge reveal date. Now, a lot of people are actually really disappointed about some of the news that's actually going to be breaking at Call of Duty XP. I didn't explain this earlier, but Call of Duty XP is actually going to be held in Los Angeles from September 2nd to September 4th. Now, the reason that's not that great is because that's actually actually one of the latest times we're ever going to be getting a Call of Duty multiplayer reveal. So usually what happens is we get a Call of Duty reveal at E3, which I believe may or may not still be happening in terms of campaign gameplay. But this is obviously going to be much, much later in terms of multiplayer reveals than we had last year, for example. Keep in mind, guys, the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal, I believe, came sometime in July or August, because then keep in mind, we actually had the beta that everyone was able to play in late August for Black Ops. 3 and that was something that was huge that was revolutionary that we hadn't had in an extremely long time for Call of Duty but now we're gonna have to wait for the actual multiplayer reveal to actually come in early September which is a long ways away so we have a long time to go before we see really any exciting gameplay for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare in my opinion. I know some people are really excited about campaign and we are going to be getting that much earlier but personally I only really care about the multiplayer and I know a lot of you guys do as well those of you who are subscribed to me and watch my videos so unfortunately we will have to wait a while before we actually get any multiplayer gameplay but
but it is what it is. We are getting a lot in return when you really think about it. A huge event called the XP is an extremely exciting time. But anyways, guys, just wanted to bring you all of this video, this update video on Call of Duty XP and what's inside the mysterious black envelope that I know some of you guys have actually been curious about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, smack a like. Let's go ahead and see if we can shoot for 80 likes on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Be sure to check out the other videos on screen now if you haven't done so already. And if you guys made it up until this point in the video, go ahead and comment down below, hashtag CODXP. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.